Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody's trying to make a pegboard with quarter inch holes around the track looking board. And they want the holes a half inch apart and they want 13 rows. The best way to do it is take the blend tool, set your blend on 13. Go from that line to that line. It's Mine is set for 300, but we're going to set it for 13. Now you got 13 tracks. And the way to make sure you do is to go up here, object, break, blend apart. Go up here, grab it all, object, group, and ungroup it all. And then we should have 15. So we got 15 objects because we got 13 tracks in the middle. You could do maybe the easiest thing to do. This is like 32 inch big. Let's make our nudge factor 35. And let's nudge that one out of the way. That's our exterior and our interior. So here we have the 13 tracks. Now we need to take, we're going to use the blend tool on this project. We need two of them. You don't have to, but always hit T, put them even. And we need to figure out how long this line is. So we're going to go to Windows, Dockers, Properties, and click on this line right here. And this line is almost 87 inches, it, or a little bit more than 87 inches, but we're going to call it 87 inches. So bring out a calculator, 87 times 2 is 174. That gives us a half inch apart, but we've already got two, so we need 172 because we've already got the two here. So go here, open up your blend docker, which is under objects, blend, and we're going to blend them 172 times. We're going to grab down here to new path and put it on that path, go up here to blend along full path and hit apply. Now let's just see how close we are. We'll get the parallel dimension tool and go from that center to that center and you can see we're a half an inch apart. And then all you have to do, you know, I mean, she's, they're good because they have a lot of copies of the uh, lines. So we're going to grab two more. Don't have to, but I always hit T and make them even. We need to figure out how long this, this next line is. Properties, line, 84. It's really close. So bring out a calculator. 84 times 2 is 168 minus the 2 is 166. Open the blend docker back again, 166. Hit apply. Blend a full, blend a new path. Blend along full path. And there you have it. Now, you know, at one point, they're going to be not exactly a half inch. Um, but look at that. I mean, measurement wise, we're pretty close. And then you would just have to do that for the other three or the other, other 11. Uh, there's really no quick other way that I know of. And then when you're ready, just bring your outline back. And there you have your holes for your peg. Of course, you'd want to take your blends away. So let's back up here. And um, so these are a blend. And if we click on it, and move it out of the way, we're going to move it out of the way. But if you go to object and break the blend apart, grab your line and delete your line. Grab that one, object. A lot of times you have to select the whole thing. So it'd be easier if you got through with everything. Break the 18 deals apart. Grab our grab our line and hit delete. Now, I think it'd be easier to do them all. And then uh, as you're going, see, when you break a blend apart, the two originals stay there. So it might be easier after you blend the first one to move it out of the way.
because it'll be easier to place the next one. And then just keep moving them across. Let's go ahead and do the last one and see what it looks like. Properties, line. We've got 50 and a quarter. We're going to call it 50, so that's 100. So we need 98. So grab two of these. Get T or B just to get them even. It doesn't really matter. And I think I said 98. So open your blend docker back. Grab those two. 98. Hit apply. New path. And see, if you move the other ones out of the way, it might be easier to, to click that path. Blend along full path. And there you go. Let's see how close we are. Parallel dimension tool from the center to the center is, is a half of half an inch. Anyway, and what I was saying about once you've uh, done that one, whoop, that's why I'm saying to do this. Uh, grab that one and nudge out of the way. Then you can do that one and nudge out of the way. Might be easier to work from the center in. And don't forget to get rid of your measurement marking. And then once you've done them all, they would be over here and you'd have to break all the objects apart and then remove your lines. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.